Hello, uh, welcome to another episode of Casting Beers. This is season one, uh, volume two of of the unknown day. Um, I'm here with uh, fellow brew bro. He's gonna. We're practicing proper social distancing. Yes, uh, and. We're, we're here to... TJ Slaughter, the sloth, uh, I was told has to be in the video, so uh, pay homage to the almighty TJ Sloth. Correct. Go on. Um, so we're going to review some beer here, but don't forget to follow us on Bojo Photo, uh, Bojo Mojo. You can find us on uh, YouPorn and Pornhub as well as Twitter and MySpace. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors tonight. Elmer's Multi-Purpose uh, Spray Adhesive. You know it's good. Go on. So today, uh, as you guys mostly know, I'm a big fan of the Florida beers. So we've got a double India Pale Ale, Florida Man. It's a Cigar City Brewing out of my hometown, Florida. So it comes in a blue can. It says, Welcome to Florida, the Sunshine State, also known as the Gunshine State. Booyah! <laughs> Pew -pew. Uh, it says it's got an unpredictable varieties of hops. Used in nearly criminal volumes. That's pretty intense. I wonder Com what the level is before it becomes criminal. I don't know. Uh, who knows? Combined to create a bold, citrusy double. Oh, this is another double Indian pale, uh, Indian ale. Brewed to pay tribute to the world's worst superhero, the, the Florida Man. I don't agree with that. I think the Florida Man's the world's best superhero. <laughs> Uh, it's getting sticky in here. Stinks the nostrils. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's got a blue can. It's got an alligator on there. Uh, cigar. It's got a cigar because it's Cigar City. The can's uh, made out of aluminum. There's literal... It was like a... We don't have a fog machine, so I figured the next best That's thing fine. was self-adhesive. Right, so... Sticky. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Can opens. I would like to say that um, before we take the first sip, the fact that you invited me to be part of this podcast of a beer called Florida Man, which is, is you. If there was a beer in a can, it would be you. I don't know if it would be a double Indian pale ale, but... Um, the fact that it's one of my favorite types of beer named after a beer named after you, um, I think this is pretty pretty damn awesome. I appreciate that. I'm excited to yeah, give this so a shot. So TJ Slaughter. Right. So. Not happy about this. <laughs> uh, Not sure you would be. I don't know why you thought you would be. Uh, I feel like a Florida man beer should be, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not so double Indian. No, I, I will actually agree with you as an IPA fan. I will say that I think a Florida man beer should be more of a lager, uh, a beer that you can go all day with. I will say this is 80 uh, IBUs. Oh, for the record, since we've started this, I believe IBU stands for International Brotherhood Union. Uh, just, just look it up. It's a union. So they got 80 of them in here. Yep, pretty much. Uh, it's eight point five percent alcohol. Mm. That's that bad. So I can get behind that as a Florida man, right? Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, it's still it doesn't taste great. It's the world's worst superhero. I mean, this is what this beer is all about. Uh, I I. I would buy a six pack of this, and probably never, never buy it again. Just 
it doesn't speak to me. You know, I'm a, I'm a, a Jai Lai fan. Uh, you know, maybe a Copper Tail Brewing type of IPA guy. But this, this one just doesn't, doesn't speak to me. On the IPA scale, I'm going to give this a 5 out of a 10. So wait a second. Is this Indian Pale Ale? That's what IPA stands for, huh? So I don't know if the slaughter knows. Right. The best way to figure this out is to probably drink these beers. I would drink more of them. Oh, also, I noticed in one of your videos that you talked about how you like to eat the tab up, and that's Correct. your trademark move. One of the things I like to do, I like to give a shout out to uh, a certain Carolyn out there, married to Craig. She likes to put a little dent, a little thumb into the can. And ever since I learned that from her, I've always put a thumb dent in my canned beer. And I appreciate that. So shout out. I'm good with that. So I, uh, since I put that up there, I know I've had a few questions about it. I think what it does is if you keep that tab up, Gives you the proper alignment with mouth to can opening uh, trajectory to get the beer into your into your body. And I like that, Mike, because we've got a lot of fan mail out there. A lot of you guys, a couple of you from Finland have actually reached out, uh, Switzerland, I believe, asking the questions, you know, why does that man, Florida man, always keep the tab up on his beer? So, hey, to you guys out there, you know, give us a shout out, send an email uh, to, to right here. That's to that link. And uh, any questions you guys have, we can go live anytime. We, 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 we can do viral. We can get the other guys in, the tuxedo man, scuba man, the guy who dances around in the in the shower with the flashlight with the things dangling over his genitals. We can all get them those all things. in. You know, we can make a party out of this. Social distancing rules, obviously. Safety first. That's what we're all about. So, uh, I think that'll do it for this episode of Quarantine Beers. Cheers. Cheers.